So I'm going to show you the shortcut of finding a formula of a quadratic sequence, and this is what you want to do. First we see the first difference is plus 4, and then plus 6, and then plus 8, and then plus 10. Then we notice the second difference is plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Because the second level difference is a constant, so we know this right here is for sure a quadratic sequence. And we have to find out A, B, C values. So here we go. We can find out A by doing 2A equals this number, which is the 2 right here. So 2A equals 2 means A equals 1. Next, we can also utilize this number, and you have to remember you said 3a plus b equals that number, which is 4. And because we know a is equal to 1, so 3 times 1 is 3, and then we just minus 3 on both sides, that means b will be 1. Lastly, we can also use this number, and remember this right here is when n is equal to 1. We can actually get a plus b plus c, we set that equal to 0 for the first number in the sequence. And because we have a is 1, b is 1, so it's 2, so c must be negative 2. So that means our formula is a n equals 1 times n squared plus 1 times n, and then minus 2. Now, another example. First, we see that when we go from negative 2 to 3, we add 5. And then we add 9. And then we add 13. And then we add 17. Each every time, we have to add 4, right? That's the second difference. So here we go. 2a equals this number, which is 4. That means a is equal to 2. And then 3a plus b equals this number. We have 5 here. So put 2 in here. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 6 on both sides. b will be negative 1. And then finally, we put a plus b plus c equals this number, which is negative 2. So here we have 2, and then we minus 1, which is 1. And then we ask d is equal to negative 2. We will just have to minus 1 on both sides. That implies c equals negative 3. So right here, this tells us a n equals 2 n squared minus n, right, minus 1 n, and then minus 3. And now, I would like to explain why we have to do this, this, and that. Now let's first talk about why do we put a plus b plus c equals the first number. Well, n starts with 1. So right here, if we look at a1, we're just plugging 1 into all the n's. So we get a times 1 squared plus b times 1 and then plus c. So of course we can see that a plus b plus c has to be equal to the first number in the sequence. Now, let's talk about why do we do 3a plus b equals this number in the first difference. Why not 2, right? Hmm. But the idea is, we are going to write a formula for a n plus 1, and then we are going to do this minus that, and that will give us the first difference. So, we will see this is a times n plus 1 squared plus b times n plus 1, and then plus c. Expand this, we get a n plus 1 equals, this is n squared plus 2n, and then plus 1, right? And then distribute a, so we have a here, a here, and then a here. And then plus b n plus b, and then plus c. Now, we are going to subtract a n. So now we see a n plus 1 minus a n equals, this is gone, and this right here will be 2an, and then plus a, and this is gone, and then plus b, and also this is gone. Now, if we put n equals 1, then we get a2 minus a1, which is going to be, again, this is what n is equal to 1. We get 
2a times 1 plus a plus b. Aha! This right here is why we get a 3a and then plus b. And that is why we put 3a plus b to equal to this number. In another word, a2 minus a1, just like what we did over there. Now, why did we set 2a is equal to the second difference? Earlier we saw that a m plus 1 minus a n is equal to this right here. This right here is actually going to give us the sequence right here. I'm going to call that d n for difference, and especially the first difference. So what we are going to do is, we are going to find out d n plus 1. And all we have to do is put n plus 1 in here. So we get 2a times n plus 1, and then plus a, and then plus b. So this right here will give us dn plus 1 equals 2an plus 2a plus one more a. So this right here will be plus 3a, and then plus b. Now, we do what we did. dn plus 1, we are going to subtract dn, which is that, so this is 2a n and then a and then b. So this is a subtraction and as you can see here, then you get this and that cancel. This and that is just 2a and this and that cancel. And notice this formula, we don't have n anymore because when we have a quadratic sequence, the second difference is going to be a constant. And if you have done some calculus, of course, you can look at the second derivative of a quadratic function is just 2a, which is just like this, right? 